Checking on Money Matters now this morning, Alaskans specifically are moving to the lower 48, and Florida is a top pick. Talk about a dichotomy. Yeah. And if you haven't gotten your 2019 Thanksgiving turkey yet, prices just went up. Jane King joins us live on the NASDAQ. Those stories and more in this morning's Money yeah. Matters Report. Hey, Jane. Hi, Bruce and Jane. Good morning. So it's already that time of year. You know, wait till the last minute. <laughs> turkey prices yeah. start to rise. It's kind of like gas prices, you know, right before the summer driving season, we see them tick up and turkey prices go up a little bit as we get closer to Thanksgiving. So price conscious consumers should shop around for the holiday turkey. Uh, turkey uh, Texas A&M says that turkey sales typically peak leading into Thanksgiving through December 31st, of course, as we uh, have a lot of demand for traditional holiday meals. So, Jane, how do Florida flight prices compare to other places as we ramp up? Mm. Certainly more people wanting to travel ahead of the holidays. Yes. Well, domestic flight prices vary actually quite a bit at Florida airports. So Miami was the most expensive, $319 on average for a domestic airline ticket. Tampa was $309. Now, Orlando tickets averaged $249. So that was the second cheapest in the nation. And Finance Buzz basically found that a lot of these big touristy areas like Orlando, they have a lot of flights in and out, a lot of competition, discount carriers that help drive the ticket prices down. So a lot of people have a tradition as to when they buy their live Christmas tree. When should we avoid buying? <laughs> well, Black Friday, not good. Cyber Monday, not good either, it turns out. Live Christmas trees cost $79 on average on Black Friday last year and $84 on Cyber Monday. So that's according to the National Christmas Tree Association and the payment company Square. Christmas tree prices have soared 23% between 2015 and 2018. If that continues, the year could be the most expensive yet. Makes sense. People probably think they're going to get a deal on those days, but they don't really. All right. So, Jane, many Alaskans yeah. are looking for a change of scenery. No real surprise here. They're choosing Florida. I'll take Florida's climate yeah. any day over Alaska. Uh, I was going to say, talk about a completely different change of scenery. All those moving trucks headed to Florida show no sign of slowdown, and many of those people are coming from Alaska. Florida was the number one destination for Alaskans who are moving out of the state. Texas was number two, according to LendingTree. Interesting. All right, Jane, thanks very much. Have, Have a good day. day. Okay, thank you.